In this tutorial, we're going to create the Echo Trails text animation in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Once you're in Fusion, bring in a merge node, press F2 on the keyboard and rename it to Instance, then bring in another merge node and rename this to Text, then bring in a background node, connect the background node to the background connector of Instance, then Instance to the background connector of Text, and then Text to Media Out. Now bring in your text node, and connect it to the foreground connector of the text merge. Now in the inspector, let's type in our text, change the font, and I'm also going to reduce the size of my text. Next, click on the viewer and press Ctrl or Command G to bring up the guideline. This will help us with the animation of the text on screen. Now let's animate our text. In the inspector, go to the layout tab and at frame zero, set a keyframe for center. Next, move the playhead at frame 30 and we're gonna use the on-screen arrows to move our text. And it will automatically set a keyframe for us. Next, move at frame 60 and let's move it up. Then move at frame 80, let's move it to the right and a bit down. Jump to frame 96. Move it down and to the left a bit. And then at frame 110, let's place it back to where it was. Now let's play this back. Good. Next, we're going to click on the small squares at each corner to get these two handles that will help us with smoothening the path of our animation. If you click on one of them and it moves both of the handles, just press and hold control or command on your keyboard, left click, and then you can move them individually. Now let's play this back. Much better. Now we can create the echo trail effect. Select the text node, control or command C on your keyboard, double click on the empty space. Now press control shift V or command shift V on your keyboard to create an instance. Let's move this here, double click on the empty space, shift space bar to bring the select tool and search for echo. Now the echo node doesn't come with DaVinci Resolve by default. It comes with a free plugin called Reactor. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to get it and how to install it. Click on the node and go to the inspector. Now we're going to change the value of five echo frames to, let's say 20, subframes two, and number of frames that will be displayed on screen is going to be five. Now let's move our text. And as you can see, the trails start to appear. Now there's too much space between them. So let me change the nth frame slider and have less frames. Good, we're gonna keep it at three. Now let's decrease the echo gain to create a fade. And next, we're gonna increase the gain gamma to further improve the effect. Now let's play this back. Perfect. Now let's stylize our animation. Select the instance text and in the inspector, change from the text tab to the shading tab. Now go to appearance, right click and select the instance. This will allow us to change the appearance of the instance node without affecting the source node. And we're going to change from text fill to text outline. And as you can see, now we have our trails in the form of a text outline. Next, we're going to double click on the empty space, shift space bar and bring in a displace node. Next, press and hold shift on the keyboard, left click on the displace node, and let's bring it between echo and instance. As you can see, the line turned blue green. That means we're ready to connect our node. Release, and now we have our node connected. Now let's go to the effects tab. Next, we're gonna attach a noise gradient. So we're gonna go to the effects tab, open up templates, edit, and generate. Let's drag in the noise gradient, close the effects tab, and connect the noise gradient to the displace. As you can see, the text changed. With the noise gradient selected, let's change our viewer to a dual viewer. Press one on the keyboard to bring the noise gradient into the left viewer. And let's zoom in in our second viewer by holding control or command and scrolling up on the mouse. 
And if you want to move your viewer, press and hold the scroll wheel and drag your viewer around. Now, let's customize our noise gradient. In the controls tab in the inspector, let's increase the detail, increase the contrast, decrease the brightness, unlock X and Y, increase X and Y, increase the seethe, and increase the seethe rate just a little bit. And now, as you can see, our trails have this ghostly distorted effect, especially with the fade that we gave it earlier. Now, let's colorize our text and our background. Select the background node, change the type from solid color to gradient. Now, let's change black to this shade of blue and white to this shade of blue. And obviously, you can choose any color you want. Just try to achieve a balance between them. Next, I'm going to change the gradient type from linear to radial and set the start X point to 0.5. Perfect. Now let's add color to the trails. Select the instance node and still in the shading tab, go down to the red channel, right click and select the instance color group. This will de instance all the channels. Now let's change the color. Click on the viewer, control or command G to hide the guidelines. Let's select media out for a clean view make some room and let's play this back. And that is how you create a stylized echo trail animation. Now, let me show you how to install Reactor. Now to get Reactor, I'm going to leave the link to stakeunderwater.com in the description of the video, or you can type Reactor for DaVinci Resolve in Google. And a quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Reactor. I just like using it because it's free and it has a lot of cool stuff in it. Now, once you're on the page, scroll down until you see Reactor Installer Lua. Download it. Once it's downloaded, go to the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve, grab the installer and drag it over. You can choose a custom path, but I advise you to just install and launch. Wait for it to download, install and update to the latest version. And after it's done, restart DaVinci Resolve. Now that it's done with installing, updating and initializing, the Fusion Reactor browser appears. Let's type in Echo Market. And as you can see, you can donate or not right now. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to click not right now. And your echo node is active. Close the window, restart Fusion. Now, once you're back in DaVinci and on the Fusion page, shift spacebar to bring up the select tool. Let's type in echo. And here is our node ready to use. Now, if you want to activate other tools, you go to workspace, scripts, reactor, open reactor, and search and select another tool you need to install, update, or even remove if you want. And that is how you install Reactor and create a cool custom text animation. Now, if you want to learn more text animations, start with this one and I'll see you in the next video.